everybody, Victoria here. Welcome to another episode and to the Las Colinas, where today we're about to tour this modern brand new villa designed by Clavel Architects and built by Somium. This property is amazing. It has its own private glass pool, futuristic design, incredible interiors, golf and sea views, and all that with a touch of the Mediterranean sun. We've got a really good episode ahead of us, so let's not waste any more time and go and have a look inside. Welcome to the exterior of the house. Let's start our tour from the front of this property where I'm standing right now, in front of the main entrance leading us to the inside of the property. On my right hand side here, you have the little driveway, which is your parking space for probably two cars or one big one. Now here we've got a lot of trees, plants, and as we go along into the house, we'll see more of them because this house is connected with the nature and it has been built around the natural plants and trees that have been already in the area before this house was built. Now, please, let's step inside through the front gate and voila, here we are at the main entrance on my right hand side we've got the garden which wraps around the whole of the house and here on the left side we've got the stones separated with the nice little white pebbles leading us to the swimming pool area but before we go there let's speak about this zone over here first of all as i just mentioned the nature of this house has been preserved to keep the natural plants and trees that have already been in this area before the house was built. So here on my left hand side we can see the natural pine trees which actually have been here before the house was built. Also did you know that in the Las Colinas for every tree that you take out you have to plant another one and a half trees. So yeah basically <laughs> doesn't make much sense to cut the trees because you have to plant them anyway. Now from here we also see the architectural unique design of this house. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it was designed by clever architects who designed their properties all around the world, including Dubai and all the famous places. And voila, here we are in the Las Colinas, Spain. Look at this house. It definitely does stand out from all the other houses in the area with this unique design. First of all, what you notice the most as soon as you walk through this gate is this wing. Yes, the dining area which is cantilevering above the ground, surrounded by the pine trees and the golf course in the faraway distance. It looks incredible, doesn't it? And even the feeling you have when you're inside, it's, uh, it's really something special. But now let's step inside and check out the interior of the house. There is something I heard about Las Colinas. I don't know if it's true or not, and that's why I would like to find it out from you. I heard that there is quite a lot of people from Belgium, Netherlands and other European countries which are quite famous, celebrities, football players, other famous sports people. Can you give us some little insights on that? Of course, we have very nice celebrities. We have celebrities from Belgium, we have celebrities from Poland, we have celebrities from Iceland. Uh, they are in the artistic world, they are also in the sport world. But I cannot tell you, I cannot display names, I'm sorry. And it's also the location, right, of the Las Colinas that makes it even more attractive for these kind of people because we are in a way completely separated, right? So it's kind of a place where you wouldn't think you'd find these kind of people, I guess. Yes, Las Colinas, we call it a world apart because as long as you get in, you realize you're in a different place. It's very secluded because it's in the middle of a natural park. And actually a lot of local people, they don't know that this place existed. Exactly. And it's, it's the place. perfect location for relax, to be anonymous and to have a good time and be yourself really. And 
welcome to the inside of the house. Not your typical open plan design. First thing, when you enter through the house, you are hit by this glass patio. This house is called bright patio for two reasons. First of all, because it's bright. And the second patio, because it has two patios. Here is one of them, it's as soon as you enter. On, off to my right hand side, over here we have a guest bathroom. And then following through over here, we are in the kitchen dining area. And this is the part which I personally like a lot about this place. I mean, check out this design. You saw it from the outside, now you get a chance to see it from the inside. And yeah, there is something about the space. You are like a little fish in the aquarium, or as Maria Jose said, as you are a child in the treehouse because you are surrounded by all these pine trees and the beautiful views of the golf course and the nature. Yeah, and there's just something about the privacy you, you have here. I, I would definitely enjoy eating my morning breakfast or dinner with these views. There's something quite special about the, the dining area, as we spoke before with you, there is like the space where you are as if you are in a tree house, right? You feel because you're surrounded by, first of all, the glass from three sides and the trees, the, the forest trees you've got around. Actually, the kitchen is a wind, so the wind just stands out of the house. And then because of the surroundings of the, of the kitchen and the, the dining area, they decide to keep it open with the glasses because you have the trees there. And I think everybody, when you're we're a little girl or a little boy, yeah. we all have the dream of living in a tree house. Now, a little bit about the furniture. Let's notice the contrast between the furniture and the details used in this space. We've got the black design of a table, white chairs, the white carpet, and the matching kitchen. So we've got the darker tones in the kitchen and this island top and the other white designs. Nice, nice style, right? So now let's speak about this American style kitchen. Because it's in the middle, we've got no backsplash and nothing behind. We've got these electrical sockets right here in the middle. Super useful for when you're cooking up, chopping up, charging your phone, perfect. Here we've got all the built-ins. We've got the refrigerator, brand new. Voila, it smells really good. I love the smell of new things. I think everybody does. <laughs> Lots of built-ins. We've got an oven and a microwave. Yes, a microwave. Plenty of built-ins nice and soft touch. We've got the recessed LED lights throughout the whole of the space and I'm sure in the night it will look incredible. And now let's step into the terrace which is connecting us to the outside. So this is your first terrace. This is first out of many terraces we've got in this house which is connecting us with this peaceful nature. Check out these views guys. Dima please come here and let's show everyone the views we've got from this balcony. On my right, you can see we've got the sea, which is just hiding somewhere behind these pine trees, but we'll be able to see it from the upper bedroom, from the main bedroom upstairs. And on the left side, we've got the main golf course and all the valleys with the green trees, beautiful. Now here, a little chilling area where you can enjoy the coffee, which you've just made in your kitchen, these nice, LED light strips over here. And now let's step back inside and just notice that this patio, the windows of this patio, you can just open it all up, not only bringing so much natural light, but also fresh air. The reason why these patios have actually been added to the house is what I've been told is for the connection with the nature. Because if you look down, do you want please like this look down? You see that we've got the palm trees, the baby palms, and in the other one, we've got the trees. So basically, the whole reason of these patios, the design was to connect 
with the nature bring plenty of light and of course fresh air. In fact, this house is never dark. Even on a rainy day, we've been here one time a few weeks ago on a rainy day and it was super bright. Well, how can it not? Check out all these floor to ceiling picture windows running along all this wall and then also right here behind me. So yeah, the percentage of walls in this house, I think it's very minimal. Look at this, <laughs> small. Right now, let's make a little loop and go back over here so that you don't get, get lost, guys. Here is where we started, right? Here we have the main entrance and we went to the kitchen area. Now we're going to step out and check out the bedroom we've got on this floor. Now, on each level we've got bedroom and a bathroom. So basically, if you don't wanna run around between different levels, you can just stay on one and have all your amenities and all your necessaries in one floor. In this floor, this is the main master bedroom. As you can see, we've got a really large double bed. It's actually larger than usual with the soft colors. Now we've got the sunset coming through the window. It's beautiful. My favorite time of the day, golden hour. And now a walk-in bathroom. Again, let's notice, oh, hold on. Yes, let's notice that no doors. No doors in this house. Again, there is something about it that yeah, the Spanish just like to, to connect the bedrooms with the bathroom, I think, because again, you are connected with the other people that are in the bedroom. But you can close off yourself by these glass doors whilst you're showering. And of course, you might have noticed that here we have a little window, which is leading us to the front. And you might be thinking, oh, well, what if I'm actually taking a shower? Can somebody from the outside see me? And yes, they can. For that reason, we have this special click. Voila, check this out now. Just hide away from any potential pickers. I don't know if that's actually a word. Pickers, picking, pickers. Well, you know what I mean. So. That's a nice feature to have in your bedroom. Another beautiful uh, recess space over here where you can potentially place your TV or some art as we have at the moment. Plenty of storage on the wall, in the walls over here. We've got the light fixtures, the LED light strips fixed in as soon as you open the wardrobe. Voila, you've got the light. So that is the first bedroom in this level. Now let's step into the living room which is over here. Let's step back into this zone, to the second wing of the house and check out this gorgeous space. I mean, this is for sure my favorite room in this house. In fact, this is a golden sunset living room and this is quite unique. I really love to see when the sun sets in the property and right now we have the last pieces of the sun and from here you can enjoy some incredible sunsets right in front. Open up all the windows, bring all the fresh air and just sit back, relax and enjoy. All the details in this bedroom, super minimalistic. Look at all these little pieces. I love the colors that have been used in this interior. Of course, we've got the creamy sofa. All the furniture have been custom made, especially for this house in Elche. And why this room is super original is because on both of the sides of this room, we've got floor to ceiling windows. I mean, check the volume of that. Look at that. So it opens all the way. So it actually leaves you completely connected with the outside space. Of course, we've got the Shuko windows over here. Feel the space. Amazing, right? This living room is actually really cozy. I think that it's not just a typical modern house and a designer place, but it actually has this homey style. And this is what I really like about it. And then on the other side over here, again, the picture windows, which also open up. You can open all the space and have this flow of the wind. Here you have a lovely sitting area with these two chairs. It's perfect to enjoy the beautiful golf views, yeah. 
So that's a nice living room which is connecting us to this gorgeous outdoor space. Let's come all of us over through here and check out this space. So tell us a little bit about the pool setup. It's quite interesting to see that the swimming pool has the glass design at the front and we have it at this level, but at the same time it's overlooking the garden. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay, the swimming pool is a very nice design. It's very unique because it has this uh, side open with the glass. Yeah. So it's very interesting because uh, it's a connection between the middle floor and the bottom floor. Yeah. If you're in the bottom floor, you can see who is in the pool and everything, so it's kind of fun. And then you can send messages of, I love you, or it's time for a glass of champagne, and things like it's that. It's always a time for glass. Yes, always. All right, and let's continue with the tour in this outdoor space. Now, here is where it gets interesting, and now let's talk about the swimming pool glass front swimming pool we're gonna see more of that when we are in the lower part of the house in the garden but from here you can see that it's an infinity edge pool with the views of the golf course beautiful nature here are the palms it's super peaceful here super quiet and you've got all the sky full of stars in the night because we've got no cities anywhere near us so in the night you actually get to see the stars and amazing skies yeah so here just off the swimming pool we've got the beautiful recess in lighting on this part of the garden on the left side over here the outdoor shower take a little shower after the swimming pool session and head down to the chilling area on the opposite side over here a little l-shaped zone this place is to enjoy your summer night in Spain, summer nights are pretty much throughout the whole of the year, maybe with an exception of December and January. But otherwise, pretty much all year round, you have the summer here, beautiful. So you get to enjoy this outdoor space all the time, pretty much. All right, now here we have the second large pot here. Tima, step over here and let's show everybody these two large, quite large, actually, palms which we've got in the second patio. Do you remember the first patio when we walked in, there was um, uh, like a baby palms and these are, these are the parents of the other ones. So that is all for this level. Now we are going to step into the level minus two, check out all the garden space and the swimming pool area from the bottom. Let's go. All right, and here we are reaching the landing level of the floor minus two. First being greeted by some gorgeous art, which are done by the local artists in the area. Some plants to bring in more nature into the house. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about the staircase because I think it's quite cool. Check out this open risers and the floating design. This glass balustrade we've got running towards the top of the other floor and the built-in recess lighting we've got in the patio, gorgeous looking staircase that's for sure now here another sitting area your unofficial sitting area looking into the patio very official here you can actually make an office pour some water and have a serious conversation voila now let's make a little u-turn let's step into this garden and make a little u-turn and check out the bedroom which is connected to your garden voila here we are, and now let's step inside. So here we go, pretty decent size bedroom, very bright, neutral colors, soft tones, built-in spaces over here. The reasons lights, voila, plenty of space. I wanna notice this detail. I don't actually know what it's called. Is it like hangers? I don't know. <laughs> If you know, if you know, guys, let me know in the comments. I actually don't know what's the name of this hangers, maybe. Right, so we've got the recess lighting built in, the LED lights recessed in just under the entrance to this bedroom. Here we've got an ensuite bathroom. Again, this open freestyle design with the sliding, the sliding glass door. 
Got the double vanity units over here for him and for her. A mirror with the LED lights in the back. Nice and simple design. And now let's step back outside to check out the garden. It's getting a bit dark, so we should carry on before we'll have to turn on some big lights so that you can guys still see me. Now from the outside of the house, this is where you can see the style of the house being divided into kind of three different cubes. This one is just counter-livering above all the space. Check this out. It has no support over here, no column, just counter-livering above the space, just us, the dining area. Now let's just step a few steps over to this zone because I want you to see this dining area with me in the shot so where you can actually see the volume and how it just elevates above this garden. To think that this house costs just one and a half million. I mean, how much would this house be in like LA or like Marbella, California? Yeah, I think a lot more. Only in the Las Colinas and the Costa Blanca where you find yourself a deal like this. Look at this home. Right, and now, Whilst we're walking, let's mention some specs about this house. This house is located on a plot of 1,073 square meters with the internal build of 240 square meters, consisting of three bedrooms, three bathrooms and two car parking space. And the price of this gorgeous property is just one and a half million euros. Voila. And now let's continue with the tour. Stepping over through here, we are just under this covered area with the pebbles on the ground over here, as you can see. And all these reasons lighting we've got on the floor of this garden really make this house look super futuristic. And I love it, especially now when it's dark. Here is where we've got the funky swimming pool. Probably you'll be able to see some B-roll shots where I'm actually swimming. So I was trying the swimming pool out and I must tell you, it's a nice experience. When you swim up to the edge, boom, pull your hair out of the water and just look at the views of the Las Colinas. Very nice. It's a shame it's actually not lighting up, but uh, we'll try and turn the swimming pool on and put it in the B-roll shots for you guys. And now let's step back inside and go to the floor number two, where we've got the main primary bedroom. Follow me. All right, and reaching the landing of the second floor, before we get up there, I wanna show you guys that even when you walk up these stairs, you've got the built-in recessed LED light here on these uh, patio windows, which give the super nice effect. Yeah, check this out. As if I'm stepping into some nice restaurant. And now the second floor, the first thing, just off your main bedroom on the third floor, you have another ensuite bathroom. This time we've got a little bit of a different design. Opening up to your walk-in shower. So you've got a really nice rain head above you, a nice vanity unit over here with this bowl sink, an LED lit mirror, and a nice and a simple design. And now stepping on to your main master bedroom of the third floor because also on the first floor we had the master bedroom of its own floor each floor has its own bedroom its own master bedroom here again same design again the sphinx follow me what is your name <laughs> okay so a storage space plenty of storage space on this wall nice and soft here you have a preparation for your tv the Shuka windows and what's really cool about these windows is that you don't actually pull by the handle. You have this special, Dima, come close. You have this special handle over here, right? Where you just hold like this, no matter how tall you are. And then it's actually easy to pull these heavy windows because as you know, I normally struggle with them. And like this is actually very easy. Okay, so that's about the windows. From here, you have an amazing view of the whole of the Las Colinas. Now it's dark, so you can't really see, but you'll be able to see that in the B-roll shots, right? And that's it for this bedroom. 
All right, and with all that said, we're gonna finish up the tour for today. Today we've seen a gorgeous free bedroom, free bathroom designer house in the Las Colinas. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this house and what kind of house would you like to see in the next upcoming tours. As always, we'll leave more information about this place down in the comments below. If you did like this video, smash that like button and if you want to see more of content like this, where we tour amazing houses in Spain, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next week. Take care guys and bye for now.